You're contemplating bringing a lawsuit, and you've heard that there are different ways that defense attorneys like to try and negotiate when they get to the point in your case where negotiations occur. You want to learn some of the best techniques that I've seen attorneys use in order to try and negotiate a case? Come join me for a moment as I share with you some great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney practicing law here in the state of New York. So now, during the course of your lawsuit, it might be an accident case, or maybe a medical malpractice case, or even a wrongful death case. At some point during the course of the litigation, the attorneys may get into a discussion about settlement. They may try and negotiate. They may try and settle your case. Now, if the defense attorney is ready to start negotiating, meaning he's conferenced the case with his insurance company and with his client, and now they've given him permission and authority to go ahead and try and settle the case, and they've given him an amount of money which he doesn't disclose to us. Now, here's a couple of different ways that attorneys, that really smart defense attorneys use in order to try and negotiate. There are some attorneys, defense attorneys, who will use what's known as the incremental method. They will start very low. Let's say, for example, the defense attorney has been authorized to settle this case for a maximum of a million dollars. This defense lawyer may turn around and start out as his initial offer of offering some lowball number, let's say like $400,000. And from there, he will slowly and incrementally go up little by little, depending upon the information that we have that we give as a counteroffer. So let's say he offers $400,000 and our original demand may have been $3 million. Well now, after that $400,000, we have to strategize to see where exactly we think the defense is and where we think they will ultimately come to. We're going to come down a little bit. Now the defense attorney is going to go up. Maybe he'll go up to $500,000. And the next counter and counter offer might be just incrementally just a little bit more. And so he has wiggle room to play, even though he has authority to offer a total of $1 million. So that's one strategy that really smart attorneys will use. And I find that those attorneys who use that particular strategy are ones who do not know the other side. Now what do I mean? There's a lot to be said for an attorney who's dealt with their adversary repeatedly on an ongoing basis because of other cases that they've had together in the past. They develop the trust between each other. And even though they are adversaries and have opposing interests, there's still a level of trust recognizing, hey, if I give you everything I have, I can't negotiate anymore. This is the maximum that I have. Which brings me to the next point. There are other really smart attorneys who turn around and know that they've been given a million dollars. And they turn around to their adversary who they know, they recognize and they trust as being a worthy adversary and say, listen, I've been given a million dollars by my client. I can't give you a million dollars right now. The maximum I can give you might be, let's say, $900,000. I need to save some money off the insurance policy. Will you accept that? And now they can have a decent discussion about whether or not the plaintiff's attorney can go ahead and accept that. So here you have a different strategy where the defense attorney comes right out and says, listen, this is what I've got. You either take it or you don't. If you take it, great, case is over and done, and now I look like a hero to the insurance company because I've saved them some money. So why do I share this great information with you? I share it with you just to give you an insight and an understanding into what goes on in the negotiation process in an accident case or a medical malpractice case or even a wrongful death case. You know, I realize you've got questions or concerns about your own matter and you're contemplating bringing a lawsuit here in New York. Well, again, if your matter happened here in New York and you've got legal questions, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. You know, I answer questions like these every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a wonderful day.